Zango Katav is a local government in southern Kaduna that is constantly attacked by unknown gunmen. These attacks in southern Kaduna have left over 4,000 persons displaced. Many lives and properties have been lost. Farms were destroyed and thousands of cattle rustled. There has been mutual suspicion among the Atiap, Hausas and the Flannies living here. Lots of accusations and counter accusations on who's responsible for these attacks. Like in the case of my people, the Hausa people, we control our youth. When we say stop, they stop. But the Atia people, that is where they have problem. They don't, they don't get control of their youth. Had it been they get control of their youth, believe me, things will not be happening. And had, had it been they give, they disseminate the right information they're supposed to give them, this thing will not be happening. All of them are guilty of the same crimes. Where they engage in killing and counter-killing, all of them are guilty of the same thing. Their house has killed, their fulani is killed, their attack was also killed, which is condemnable. And so until they get to a point where they all understand that this will not take them anywhere. Killings will not take them anywhere. The Zango Katav crisis dates back to 1992. It is an ethno-religious conflict that centers around land issues and trading rights. 29 years on, the houses, Flani and Atia people are still yet to coexist peacefully. It is said that misinformation is a driver of this present unrest. Those who carry out these attacks are said to be part of the community and from each of the ethnic groups. We cannot say this is a particular tribe that are foiling this crisis. But we know that right within the communities, we believe that they know those that are, you know, the criminals, but they are not ready to bring them out. What we are saying is that they should bring them out so that they can be prosecuted. You cannot cover a criminal. A criminal do not have a, a tribe. A criminal has only one name, it's a criminal. The Kaduna State Government says it is committed to securing the lives and properties of citizens. However, there are calls for all ethnic groups in the Atsiap chiefdom to embrace peace. It's a continuous process, like we said, something that has been happening for almost four decades. Uh, no one will expect that uh, within a twinkle of an eye, you will be able to resolve the problem. But like I said, it takes purpose, it takes commitment, it takes focus, and we are all uh, focus and committed to the uh, to that cause that until we find that peace we are not given up. We are also told that there is influence of illicit drugs uh, across the chiefdom and uh, we are going back to the drawing board to see what we can do uh, in order uh, to curtail this uh, phenomenon. But what is very clear is the fact that there is no time that Kaduna State Government is not committed to security and peace of not only Atiab chiefdom but the entire state. Women and children suffer more from the effects of ethno-religious crisis in southern Kaduna. It is hoped that deliberations from this meeting will yield a lasting solution to the Zango Katsav crisis. Nisi Gibro, Arise News, Kaduna.